Namaste. I am Dr. Anushree Muralitharan from Divine Veta. Today's topic is how to diagnose ulcerative colitis. In this video, I will be discussing various diagnostic techniques and the existing treatment of ulcerative colitis. So please watch this video till the end to know how early diagnosis help in keeping ulcerative colitis under control. You may be thinking why I am stressing on the diagnosis part more. Because ulcerative colitis is a condition which has numerous complications and difficult to control if it passes its first phase. Then the patient have to undergo various complicated surgical procedures and take regular medication. But if it is precisely diagnosed on time, then it makes a large difference in the treatment protocol and with few diet and lifestyle modification, this condition can be kept in control. I have made a separate video of complications and diet and lifestyle modifications to prevent this complication of ulcerative colitis. Also, a separate video is made on Ayurvedic perspective of ulcerative colitis and how Ayurveda treats ulcerative colitis. You will get the link of both videos from the subscription box below. So let's move on to the topic. If you have seen my last video, you may be familiar with the term ulcerative colitis. Ulcerative colitis is a chronic inflammatory bowel disease which causes inflammation and ulcers in the colon. It affects large intestine and sometimes rectum as well. First part of diagnosis is the interrogation with the patient in which patient may complain the difficulty due to the following symptoms. The symptoms are Abdominal pain, blood in stool, cramps in abdomen, diarrhea with or without blood and pus, canker sores, anemia, abdominal sounds, urgency to defecate, incontinence or uncontrolled motion, weight loss, fever, fatigue, inflammation in eyes, joints and skin in some cases, skin rashes rarely, decreased appetite, dehydration. By watching out these signs and symptoms, a large part of diagnosis is complete from the medical history itself. Moving on to diagnosis, medical history of the patient including family history is to be taken first followed by physical examination and investigative techniques. First investigative technique is complete blood count. It can look for anemia due to bleeding. A low RBC rate shows anemia. Elevated WBC and sedimentation rate is indicative of inflammation. Liver function test and renal function test is also done to check the proper functioning of liver and kidney respectively. Stool test Occult blood is done to check the presence of blood in stool microscopically. Cal protein. Elevated cal protein shows inflammation in intestine, but sometimes it may be elevated before the appearance of symptom, which can give a false notion about this test. Confirmatory investigations. Colonoscopy. Colonoscopy is a diagnostic technique wherein a long thin tube called colonoscope which is flexible and with a camera attached to it. It is introduced through rectum and moved up to colon to view the inside of the colon. Biopsy It is a technique by which a tissue sample is collected from the inner lining of colon which is analyzed to rule out malignancy. It is done accompanied with colonoscopy and sigmoidoscopy. Sigmoidoscopy A half inch thin flexible tube is used to examine inflammation and bleeding in rectum and sigmoid colon. This technique is employed instead of colonoscopy to visualize the lower part of colon. It has a bentable tube which has a tiny light and camera on the end. Barium enema x-ray To examine the lower intestinal tract, barium is introduced through rectum as an enema 
and X-ray imaging is done. In case of perforated colon, both colonoscopy and sigmoidoscopy possess potential threat. In such cases, barium enema X-ray is done to rule out any complications like perforation safely. CT enterography is a non-invasive technique to check inflammation of intestine, bleeding and obstruction. Here, a contrast material is intravenously injected after ingestion of a particular liquid. Then imaging is done. Entire thickness of intestinal wall can be visualized with this technique. MR enterography, magnetic resonance enterography, is a radiation-free technique which helps to visualize soft tissue with high resolution by using radio waves instead of X-rays. A strong magnetic field is also used to produce detailed images of internal organs of abdomen and pelvis. Video capsule endoscopy, a diagnostic tool to visualize the inside of the intestine. This technology is employed to know the exact location of inflammation by which conditions like Crohn's disease can be ruled out. Here, a wireless video capsule with a camera and light source is swallowed by the patient which moves through the gastrointestinal tract and visualizes the inside of the GID and is excreted normally. It is a non-invasive technique of imaging, but it is contraindicated in patients with swallowing disorders, gastric obstruction or stenosis, gastrointestinal mortality disorder, and in pregnant women. Now I will tell you what are the currently prescribed medications. 5 aminosalicylic acid which is taken either through mouth or enema or as suppository based on the areas involved. It is usually taken as the first line treatment in allopathy. Corticosteroids are also prescribed by some doctors but it leads to long term side effects. Immunosuppressant drugs which suppress the immune system and reduce inflammation and other symptoms are also given. But it is also not a permanent solution. Antidiarrheal medication is to be taken with caution that too only under strict medical supervision. Biologics or anti-TNF therapies are antibody medications that block the inflammation. They are the recent advancement. Antibiotics. Usually, ulcerative colitis patients find ease after consuming antibiotics because inflammation subsides fast by taking antibiotics. Some patients may tell this during history taking. But all these medications are not permanent remedies. When the symptom becomes so severe and non-responding to medications, surgery is recommended. But these treatments are not a permanent solution for managing the condition. Few diet and lifestyle modification can make a significant change in the severity and recurrence of this condition. I hope all those who are hearing this got an idea about ulcerative colitis. Please don't forget to click the bell icon for the notifications of new videos. We as a team are on a mission to create awareness about the importance of Ayurveda through YouTube and other social media platforms. So I request all of you to share this video with your relatives and friends. Thank you for listening. This is Dr. Anushree signing out.